Well, Simon Whitlock, the top seed on this board, an early casualty for the second day running knocked out in round one. It means that we will not have a repeat of the 2008 Lakeside World Final in the second round of Webster versus Whitlock because it's the Womble, Jonathan Worsley, who's sat in the second round awaiting the winner of this clash here. It is the Spider, Mark Webster versus Paul Rowley. And Webby, 140. only missing out on the first 180 of the match. Could be an all Welsh affair. Webster from Denby, in North Wales. Worsley from Chepstow. 85. It could be this man, Paul Rowley, who's not managed to beat Mark Webster before. It would be a first career victory for him. However, he has got close. They met here in Wigan at the start of the year. All the way to a deciding leg, Webster just nicking it 6-5. And they did meet a fair few years ago when Rowley was playing on the tour. He's only sort of made a return this year, came to Q School. Not looking at the trouble 17 for Bullseye because Webster not on a finish, so deciding that staying up on the trouble 20 was the best cause of action. In the end, he only got another 25 points. Great setup shot from Mark Webster. Double top for Rowley to break the throw. 76 checkout for a 15 data. Thought he might have messed it up with a poor setup shot in the previous visit, but made that 76. Looked very simple, Paul Rowley. Produced some good darts yesterday, Rowley. 90. Started off with a victory over Brendan Dolan. Former Grand Prix champion. Dolan on this board today as well. And that is the first 180. Comes from Rowley. Great way to start his first leg on throw. Ton 40 followed by ton 80. 134. Paul Rowley saw off the world number three, Peter Wright, in the second round yesterday. 6-4 win there, although the board final is where it ended for him. He was beaten 6-2 by Matt House, Richie Ed House. Gets the treble 18 for double 12. Misses outside, but he is going to be back. Also a 12 dart of that. Strong start here from Rowley. Broke the throw in 15 darts in the opening leg. Looking at double 12 for a 13 darter here. No score. Ooh, four darts missed by Rowley. However, Webster still some way back. Not close enough. Just the 40 scored. Double six. And he does finally pin it. Rowley. 2 0 up. Could be another shock win. 96. Here on board seven. Webster ranked 23 in the world. 140. Second best in the early stages here with Paul Rowley. Ninety-six. Only won the one PDC title on that website. One hundred and players championship in Germany at the back in twenty ten, but he has produced incredible runs at a lot of the big tournaments. Semi final of the World Championship. Semi finals of the Grand Prix, the UK Open. Unable to find the 171 there, but 
one three three gets him back in this leg he's still got problems though Oof, all sorts of problems Rowley 81 left after nine Double 12, had problems with this in the last leg, still got problems with it. But pins it this time, that's a 12 darter from Paul Rowley, it's another break of throw and Mark Webster in all sorts of problems. Two breaks of throw, and he's averaging around about the 100 mark for Rowley. Mark Webster at the moment struggling to compete. Going to have to hope that Rowley goes off the boil, or he's going to have to significantly raise his own performance level. The latter might be happening because that is Mark Webster's first maximum. Sixty. Look at this. One hundred and forty. Ton eighty. Ton forty. Webster has upped things. Can he sustain it? Drag himself back into this game. 100. Looking good for a break of throw. Doesn't need to go the 18s route here with Rowley not on a finish. So just staying on the treble 20. Trying to get down to something manageable. 60. Yeah, well, I'll leave him 57. tops for Webster to get a break back and there it is 14 data for Mark Webster does get a break back it's the start of the fight back for the former world champion after the first couple of days of Q school this year Paul Rowley was absolutely nowhere 24. but it's the last couple of days where he came alive made it to the deciding game on the final day of Q school and that meant he got his card by virtue of his performances over the four days it was held here in Wigan at the Robin Park Tennis Centre Q school hundreds of players all competing for the chance to play on the PDC tour So far this year, he's had a couple of runs for the last 32. One nice of them came seven. yesterday. That's the board final stage. One of them came in the very first UK Open qualifier here in Wigan. 41. Rowley evidently likes this venue. Had success at Q School, had success in the UK Open qualifiers, and obviously had success yesterday because that's the best he's done. He's had a number of first round exits on the Pro Tour this year. 99. After starting very, very strongly, 58. looks like Webster is coming back into this. 20 for tops. Took out tops, no drama in the last leg. 30. A wild one this time around, but Rowley back on 2 3 8. Webster knows he's going to get more darts at it. 140. Maybe not many more, though. Game shot. Need many more. Just the one will do. Mark Webster, two legs on the spin, closes the gap. 60. Getting results in from around the other boards. I can tell you that Peter Wright, number two seed here today, is what is opener against Mike. To Decker played some good darts yesterday. To Decker, we saw him on this streaming board, promising Belgian talent. 
but knocked out in round one by the UK Open champion, Jeffrey de Graaf. Sixty. Was one against Richie Burnett, another Welsh former Lakeside champion like Mark Webster. That means de Graaf is going to face Peter Wright. Davil Gurney, super chin. Northern Irishman who won his first PDC title just a couple of weeks ago. He's been knocked out by Barry Van Peer, the young Dutchman. Kim Hybrex, number seven seed, a 6-1 winner against Scott Derbyshire. Could have been facing his countryman Dimitri Vandenberg. 58. But he won't, it'll be Ryan Searle, because Ryan Searle has overcome Dimitri 6-5. Ted Everts, super Ted. He's knocked out James Wade in a deciding leg. Wade, the number 10 seed, multiple major champion, beaten 6-5. Benito van der Pats has come through a deciding leg game with Keegan Brown, the former World Youth Champion. Diamond Ian White has beaten Prakash Jiwa 6-4, Mensor Sulevich 6-0 against Ray Campbell. Rowley not taking out the 1-4-1, one, one. not 60 off it. It's done anyone's leg this, Webster looking to set this up. Lovely setup shot. 129. Couldn't do any more than that, Mark Webster. Leaves himself tops. He's taken it out the last two legs. Is he going to get a go at this? Rowley, 12 for Bullseye. It is the Bullseye he wants. And he only hits the 25. So Webster, for a third consecutive leg, another break of throw, and to level it up at three apiece. Down for double ten. Up for double five. Last dart in hand. Crucial point of the game, this. And all three of them... Just missing inside. Double eight. Webster watches on, and he will not be happy to see that last dart find the double eight. Rowley just gets over the line in that one. Survived three darts from Mark Webster. 100. And Webby still has plenty of work to do. With a couple of legs on the spin to drag himself back into the game, but those three darts missed. Could they prove to be a turning point in this match? From 3 0 down, Webster raised his game and Rowley did go off the boil a little bit, but that is a second maximum for Mark Webster. 100. Michael Smith, the 6-4 winner against Jim Walker. He faces Richard North, who's beaten Jim Brown 6-0. That's over on board 16. I can tell you that yesterday's winner, Michael Van Gerwen, has got through his opening game, but he was taken to a deciding leg by John Bowles, the Bulldog. 100. Gary Anderson, 6-1 winner over Harry Robinson. Gerwin Price has won 6-3 against James Richardson. And Peter Hudson faces him next as Hudson... Craig Gilchrist 6-3 65 score for Webster using the bullseye with that last dart get below 61 that means it just goes 16 for double top that's the easy bit done double 10 36. More darts missed from Mark Webster. Missed three in the last leg. Misses two here. Rowley to strike a killer blow against the Welshman. Double 16. Misses outside. Is that guide for him? Surely now. Oh, my word. Well, the first two. Looked a huge guide for Mark Webster to slide in alongside, but Paul Rowley has made it 5-2 and pushed Webster to the brink of defeat. Simon Whitlock, the number four seed, already knocked out on this board. Mark Webster shaking his head. Seven. Well, he really got himself to blame. He had three darts in that sixth leg to make it three apiece. He had a couple of darts in that last one. He's had the opportunities. Started scoring a little bit better, having gone 3-0 down. Bought himself the chances to get back into the game. 
58. But unable to seize them. It means he's got to win the last four legs. 43. Yellow class at a 6-2 winner over David Pallet in his opening game. Andrew Gilding. He's through his opening game, beat Jamie Caven. Larson versus Gilding. Chizzy, a 6-1 winner over Scott Taylor. Alan Norris and Andy Jenkins have both had convincing victories, 6-2 and 6-1. Those two facing each other on board, 6. And of course, as you've already seen, Jonathan Worsley, a winner against Simon Whitlock on this board and awaits the winner of this. And right now, it's looking like Paul Rowley, but Webster is still fighting. 138. Curious decision to switch over to the 18s there from Mark Webster because Paul Rowley's 180 there gets him down to a finish and Webster has left himself a bogey number. I don't really understand why he switched. It looked good to try and follow it into the treble 20, but... 130. Well, he just scores 130 there. But Rowley, to close this out in a 6-2 win, looks at the bullseye now and just misses one match dart missed by Paul Rowley at the bullseye. Webster's going to get two for the leg. Double 16. It has to go. And it One. doesn't go. More darts missed. He's missed darts in the last three legs, Mark Webster. And double eight for Paul Rowley will complete a 6-2 victory. Oh. 17. Two more match darts missed. One at the bull. Two at double eight. Webster wants double eight to stay alive. 60. And he cannot find it. Ten darts missed over the last three legs from Mark Webster, shot. and Rowley eventually punishes him. It's a first round exit for the former champion of the world, Paul Rowley, through to the second round. And